king's cupbearer and the king's baker offended their lord, king of Egypt. And Pharaoh became angry with his officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker. He took them into custody in the house of the captain of the guard and put them in prison, the same place where Joseph was kept. And the captain of the guard appointed Joseph to be their attendant while they remained in prison. One night in the prison, the king's cupbearer and baker both had dreams. Each dream had its own meaning. When Joseph came in the next morning, he saw that Pharaoh's officers looked troubled, and he asked them, Why are you looking so sad today? We each had a dream, and there is no one to interpret them. And Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell them to me, please. Then the chief cupbearer told Joseph his dream. In my dream, there in front of me was a vine, and the vine had three branches. Then the branches budded and suddenly began to bloom. And finally, clusters of ripe grapes appeared. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. So I took the grapes and pressed them into his cup and gave the cup to Pharaoh. Then Joseph said to the cupbearer, Here's the interpretation. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your office. You will give Pharaoh his cup, as you once did when you were his cupbearer. But remember me when it goes well with you and show me kindness, please. Mention me to Pharaoh so that he will release me from this prison. For the truth is, I was kidnapped from the land of the Hebrews and I have done nothing wrong that would justify putting me in this dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the cupbearer's interpretation was favorable, he said to Joseph, I too saw in my dream three baskets of white bread on my head. In the top basket, there were all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh. But the birds ate them out of the basket that was on my head. And Joseph said to the baker, Here is the interpretation. The three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and hang you on a tree, and the birds will eat your flesh. On the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, he made a feast for all his officials. And he lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer before his officials and restored him back to his position, so that he again gave Pharaoh his cup. But he hanged the chief baker, just as Joseph had said to them. However, the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph. When Joseph came to them in the morning, he saw that they were troubled. So he asked Pharaoh's officers who were with him in custody in his master's house, why are your faces downcast today? They said to him, We have had dreams, and there is no one to interpret them. And Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Please tell them to me. Genesis chapter 40, verses 6 to 8.